These are the fang scoring tools by Mud Tools. On this side is the small for smaller work, more in tight work. On this side is for larger scale work. The open teeth are for coarse clay and the fine teeth are for fine clay. This allows you to take the tools and the scoring edge that you need for your particular clay. So I'm gonna assemble this bottle, which I extruded and then shaped to have this more of a wavy spindle shape. And I'm adding the top, get it preparing it, which would be the top neck. Using a fettling knife. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the scoring tool. When I score, I like to score it in well. If I'm working with things that are drier, the more scoring, the more slip I do. If I work with things that are really wet, I use very little scoring. The other thing in the way I'm attaching this neck to the bottle, I'm putting it inside of a socket. So I'll fit it so that it compresses in here and it has a better chance of being stronger and more durable instead of just flat to flat. Come back and redress that a little bit. this big heavy round rod that I use sometimes for this. I'm gonna add a little clay here because of these shapes down here. So I'm gonna take something that's finer. I'm using patch clay, which I've taken my base clay and I've, I've actually blended it with a little water. It's also the difference between when I started out as a young potter, everything was thrown or made right to it. When I started thinking more as a sculptor than adding, subtracting clay, um, just became the natural way to work to get the form there and then carve it out. This is one of the pedal knives. So I'm gonna be attaching this to that. I'm gonna take and just hollow this out to be about like that taper. And here again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna douse this with some of the clay slip and let it sit for a second. What happens there is the water starts to absorb into this clay, making this part of that. And then when you do that to each piece, then 
you're going to have a much better bond. And you can also go back in and do like a mixing stroke. So I'm going to make some deep grooves in there. So your clay, when you put something wet on it, think of it like a sponge. It's always absorbing moisture or it's drying out. If the atmosphere is able to dry it out, water is either escaping or pulling in. Fang scoring tools by Mud Tools.